the Los Angeles Chargers have officially parted ways with Anthony Lynn. Anthony Lynn has been a head coach for the LA Chargers for the past four seasons. During his four-year tenure as head coach for the LA Chargers, he led the LA Chargers to a 33-31 and record. He had a lot of success early on. His first two years, he took the LA Chargers to the playoffs in 2018 with a 12-4 record. The year prior, his first year, he led the Chargers to a 9-7 record. After that, the Chargers haven't had a lot of success. They are coming off back-to-back losing seasons. They went 5-11 in 2019. This past year, they went 7-9 despite finishing the season on a four-game winning streak, which some people thought that there was a small possibility that maybe he could return as a head coach for the Chargers next year because of the four-game winning streak that the Chargers ended the season on. But ultimately, the Chargers are going to opt to go in a different direction. They're going to be bringing in a new head coach. My only concern about Anthony Lynn being fired is what's going to happen with Pell Pimpleton. Now, I'm pretty sure a good amount of you Chargers fans who are watching this video don't know who Pell Pimpleton is. Pell Pimpleton was the quarterback's coach for the LA Chargers this past season. He played a pretty good part in getting Justin Herbert ready and prepared for the NFL game. Remember, we didn't have no preseason. We had a short training camp, which was only one month. So Pell Pimpleton played a pretty solid part in Justin Herbert's success as a rookie this season. Now with Anthony Lynn being gone, I don't know if Pell Pimpleton is going to return. I would like to see Pell Pimpleton return as a quarterback's coach for Justin Herbert. I think that would be a pretty good thing for Justin Herbert, having a familiar face in the coaching room with them. But for Justin Herbert, he's so talented that pretty much the Chargers could hire any head coach they want to, really. I think Eric Bellinemy will be really interested in a head coaching job for the LA Chargers, being that he is the offensive minded coach. And you look at how many weapons the LA Chargers have on that offense. You got Jalen Guy, who had a pretty good season this year. You got Mike Williams. You got Keenan Allen, who is one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. You have Austin Eckler in the backfield, who is a really good halfback when he's healthy. And you have Justin Herbert. So for an offensive-minded coach like Eric Bellinemy, you look at that L.A. Chargers job, and it looks really appealing. Now, the Chargers ownership is well-known for being cheap. Similar to the Cincinnati Bengals, they're two of the cheapest franchises in the NFL. So I don't know how much money they're willing to spend in terms of bringing in a new head coach. But a uh, wide claim out there would be Urban Meyer. I could see the LA Chargers, if this ownership stops being cheap and actually wants to try to win some games moving forward, Urban Meyer, I think you could somewhat maybe convince him to come out of retirement and entertain the idea of becoming the next head coach for the LA Chargers because you look at Justin Herbert and the success that Justin Herbert has had this year, you look at the time that they have offensively and they're not too shabby defensively as well, I think if you're Urban Meyer, you at least need to at least interview for the job and take a look at it because there are a lot of promising pieces on this LA Chargers team and if the Chargers bring in the right head coach they should be able to win right away and they should be able to make it to the playoffs come the 2021 NFL season now what direction is this ownership going to go because with this ownership they're always known for being cheap. They're always known for trying to get a great value brand coach. Instead of spending money where it should be, they opt to go the cheap route. So with the LA Chargers, what are going to be the possible candidates out there? Because I do think that Eric Bellinemy has to be on their list. I don't care how cheap you are. You do have to have Eric Bellinemy on your list. Now, there have been some rumors connecting Joe Brady, the current officer coordinator for the Carolina Panthers, to the LA Chargers head coaching job. Maybe. You bring in Pell Pelmonton and allow Pell Pelmonton to become the head coach of the LA Chargers. Pell Pelmonton being the head coach for the LA Chargers seems like a LA Chargers kind of higher because you can get it for cheap. You won't have to dish out the money you would pay for bringing in a guy like Eric Bellinemy or a guy like a Joe Brady. So maybe you go the Pell Pelmonton route, even though I doubt that. But there are a lot of options that the LA Chargers can go because the LA Chargers job. It's one of the best jobs out there. The Jacksonville Jaguars are number one because of all of the cap space they have and all of the draft picks they have. Also about to get Trevor Lawrence with the number one overall pick. You also look at the Houston Texans because they have Deshaun Watson at quarterback. But if I'm a head coaching candidate, 
I'm looking at the LA Chargers job because you look at how talented Justin Herbert is, being the best rookie quarterback in NFL history, and the weapons and pieces that they have on offense. They also have a pretty good defense. You got Duran James, who is coming off a season and an injury. He didn't even play this year, I believe. So you're going to have him coming back fully healthy. You're going to have Joey Bosa. You're going to have Jerry Tillery there. You have a lot of young players on this LA Chargers team. And by the way, this is a LA Chargers team that is equipped to be to win right away. I think that if the LA Chargers can bring in that right hand coach, they can compete with Kansas City for that AFC West title. So I'm really excited about who the Chargers are going to bring in for their next head coach. We all know that Anthony Lynn didn't work out. Clock management issues was a concern. I didn't really like the coaching staff that he had. The style from Pell Pelmonton. I didn't like his offensive coordinator. Didn't really like Gus Bradley all that much as a defensive coordinator for the Los Angeles Chargers. So they're going to be moving in a different direction, bringing in a new head coaching staff. Me personally, I would like to see them try to make a run at Urban Meyer. I know the Jacksonville Jaguars have been rumored to be interested in Urban Meyer, but I think Urban Meyer will have a lot more interest in the LA Chargers coaching job than he would with the Jacksonville Jaguars because they already have a lot of great places set in stone. Now the LA Chargers do have some concerns that they have to address this offseason and free agency in the draft. You need to focus on improving that off the line because that off the line is a mess, has a lot of work that needs to be done. Don't know what's going to happen with Melvin Ingram long term, but you do have a couple of young promising candidates who could replace some. You also have a really good defense, even though I would like to see them bring in another linebacker to pair up with Kenneth Murray. Also want to see them get a little bit younger in the secondary. Chris Harris Jr. is a little bit up there in age as well. But overall, this is a really talented team that should be appealing to a lot of head coaching candidates out there. I think that maybe they make a run at the defensive coordinator for the Indianapolis Colts. That could be a possibility. Maybe you go down the road and try to get Robert Sala, the defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers. So the possibilities are endless, but it all comes down to if this ownership is going to be cheap with the head coaching search. I would like to see them spend some money, try to get a really good head coach so you can end up positioning yourself to win championships because I think that Justin Herbert's just way too talented of a quarterback to have his talent wasted by an organization that just wants to be cheap all their lives and instead of going out there and getting a head coach they want to bring in a great budget value head coach or you know when you go on the Walmart and you see the Frosted Flakes and then you see the great value brand Frosted Flakes so that's kind of what the LA Chargers ownership is. They don't really spend a lot of money. They always try to go the cheap route. So I would like to see them spend some money and try to bring in a new head coach. They actually care about their fans and they care about winning moving forward. But let me know about how you guys feel about this down in the comment section down below. Who you guys feel will be the next head coach for the LA Chargers. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.